Hello, this is a brief response to a video by Penn Gillette about atheists and agnostics. Penn made a common atheist argument that agnostics are really just atheists in disguise. I think this line of reasoning is wrong, and, as I'll attempt to demonstrate, I think there is a clear difference between atheists and agnostics. The link to Penn's full video is in the description below. First of all, Penn admits that it is impossible to know if God exists or not. The answer to the question, is there a God, either has to be or certainly is very reasonably, I don't know. On this admission alone, this should mean that Penn is an agnostic and not an atheist. But he continues. I don't see the atheist-theist question as being, is there a God? I see the question as being, do you believe in a God. Penn might see it that way, but a lot of theists see it differently. In their minds, they know, not believe, that God exists. Here's an example. I can know God is real by looking at His power and holding the entire universe together. The Bible teaches that God is more than just powerful, but He's personal. The God who places the earth in orbit also loves you and takes care of you. You can know God is real and know that He loves you by looking at nature and all that He has created. So next time you are outside, look around at all the beauty and mystery and hugeness of all creation and remember that God is real. Of course, this certainty by religious people is based on faulty logic and unverifiable evidence. But it doesn't change the fact that in their minds, God is a fact as opposed to a belief. So what Penn as an atheist sees as a dispute between believers and non-believers is seen by many theists as a dispute between people who know that God exists and those that do not know that God exists. My point here is not to defend theists. Theists often make the magic logic leap that not only do they know that God exists, but that they are endowed with special knowledge of the Creator's intentions and then use this knowledge to justify all sorts of simian actions and policies. But Penn now gets to his reason why he thinks agnostics are automatically atheists. And that's the only question I care about. Do you believe in a God? I don't care if you know there's a God or not. I don't care if it's knowable or unknowable, but do you believe in a God. And I think in that sense, many of your agnostics automatically become atheists. But agnostics don't see the point of having a belief or a non-belief in something that is unknowable in the first place. And neither the theist or atheist positions make any sense. If something as large and complicated as the universe cannot exist without a creator, as theists think, then how can it be possible for such a creator to exist? because such a creator must be even more complicated than the universe. And if the atheists are right, then the universe just sprang into existence from nothing. How can you have nothing, not even space and time, and then have a universe suddenly spring into existence? Such an argument can never be resolved, so agnostics see no point in prosecuting it. And that is the difference between agnostics on the one hand and theists and atheists on the other.